Have you ever felt too far away from Jesus? Hi there, I'm Natty Anderson and you're listening to Unlocked, your daily key to unlocking God's word in your life. Today's Devo reminded me of a conversation I had a few years ago. It was a one-on-one with a ministry director who I was serving under at the time. And he told me about something he learned in one of his ministry classes. The professor asked him to imagine the story of the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve, they sin, and then they do what? They hide from God. And what does God say? Well, in this example, God asks, where are you? My director said to me, when you imagine that story, how do you imagine God's voice? If you hear this harsh voice saying, where are you? You probably consider God to be harsh and unjust. While if you hear God's voice as sad or caring or soft, perhaps you see him as a loving father. And this has stuck with me ever since that moment. How do I hear God? When I sin, do I feel like I can come back to him? Well, that's what today's Devo is all about. It's called Follow the Light by Grace Terrell. Blinking open his eyes, he looked out into the darkness. How long have I been here? He asked the darkness. Innumerable days, came the melancholy voice. How long shall I stay here? He asked the darkness. An insurmountable time, came the dreary response. Who shall stay with me? He asked the darkness. None but your shadow, came the disdainful response. Then, a light flickered in the corner of his sight, a soft glow, glowing even brighter. How long have I been here? He asked the light. Long enough, my dear child, came the loving response. How long shall I stay here? He asked the light. Not a moment longer. Come and return with me, came the guiding response. Who shall go with me? He asked the light. My spirit will guide you forever, no matter how far you stray, came the gracious response. A single tear of joy streaked down his face as he now saw to whom he spoke. Then, my lord, I have but one question. When may we leave? Let's talk about today's story a little bit more together. Have you ever felt like you've strayed so far from God that he couldn't possibly want you back? Sin is like a hopeless dark pit, but God tells us in his word that he always wants to restore us and that Jesus is the one who seeks and saves us. Jesus is the light, and because he died for our sins and rose again, everyone who puts their trust in Jesus is forgiven and saved from the darkness of sin and death. Once we belong to Jesus, nothing can separate us from his love. No matter how far we fall, God will always be there to guide us back. He works through his word, the Bible, his people, the church, and his spirit who guides us into all truth. Even when we forget our identity as beloved children of light, he mercifully reminds us of his love and truth and helps us follow him faithfully. As you and I can read in Acts 26, 18, to open their eyes and turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God so that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in me, Jesus. Now, I'd encourage you to read in your Bible, Psalms 32, 1 through 11, as well as 103, verse 4, and John 8, 12, as well as Acts 26, 9 through 18, to keep God's word alive in your life. Unlocked is a resource of Keys for Kids Ministries. Did you know that we actually have an unlocked Instagram? Well, we do. We post content that won't spam you, but will inform and encourage you as a believer. So I encourage you to check it out at Unlocked Devo. Also, be sure to check back for tomorrow's devotional called What Strikes You with Dylan. But until then, I'm Natty, encouraging you to live life unlocked, opening the door to God in your life.